Ah, oh, that's nice view. Hi, breakfast. Bulgogi bacon, croissant, kimchi mozzarella, little fish, some waffle, chill some cider. Again, I'm staying at the JW Marriott. This place, best lounge breakfast buffet I've ever seen. Last couple days, I've just been eating breakfast buffet here and then they have a dinner buffet as well. There's restaurant quality stuff. Mm. Bulgogi here is awesome. Pair the bulgogi up with some bacon. Even more awesome. And all the baked goods here are so good. I don't know if they make mm -hmm. this in house, maybe, because they do have a bakery at this hotel. The sounds are awesome. All right, two rounds down, gonna head back to the room. Gym time and then food adventure time. Just got back and I'll just say, that's a really, really nice gym. And before hitting out, I'm just gonna give a big thank you and shout out to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video and continuing to support my channel. As I told you, I use Surfshark VPN pretty much every single day. And it came in even more handy during the quarantine period. Of course, people are traveling more, everyone's connected to Wi Fi, hotspots everywhere. And these are all really good opportunities for people to have access to your personal information. So if you don't know, a VPN is a virtual private network. And what Surfshark VPN does is that it encrypts and secures your personal information before it goes over the internet. So people you don't want having access to your personal info, they won't have access to it. And whenever you're typing in something on Google or chatting with your friends or family about something, all of a sudden ask for whatever you're talking about or whatever related to whatever you're talking about start popping up everywhere. That's digital snooping. Everybody hates that. Surfshark also has something called Surfshark Alert. So when someone's trying to access something like your email, you're going to get notified right away. Also, uh, the entertainment side, this is what I've been using a lot for in the last 10 days. You can actually use Surfshark VPN to, to trick streaming services like YouTube into thinking that you're in a different country when you're not. So you have access to that country's video catalog. Catalog. And vice versa, when I'm outside of the country, I want to have the access to my US streaming services. I use Surfshark VPN for that as well. And if I didn't have that, probably run out of movies by day two. So if this is something that interests you, go to my link down below. Use my promo code Mikey Chen. You'll get 83% off your order plus three additional months for free. Use it for 30 days. If you're not happy for whatever reason, get your money back. All right, barbecue awaits. First day, it's gotta be barbecue. You have never had Korean barbecue in South Korea before. Oh, you're gonna love this. And the first place we're going to, it's gotta be all you can eat barbecue. And I found this place. It's supposed to be open 24 hours. Doors open. Okay, luckily they do open at 11. It's supposed to be 24 hours, but um, right now with the restrictions, I don't know if 24 hour places even exist anymore. I just randomly found this place just looking around the pictures and it looks amazing. Basically saying he's been a butcher for 10 years. He had a meat shop for six years. As a father raising a six year old daughter, he doesn't really have any aging techniques, but definitely he promises that we will be treated to the freshest meat in Korea. I believe him. So everything is self-serve, including the meat, drinks, side dishes. Let's go grab some. Oh, here you can get the ramen. And this is where all the meat is. There's just a special feeling about your first barbecue anytime here in South Korea. And you can order soybean soup as well. And then at the end, you end everything with a bowl of ramen. Mm. I really like this place. Oh, the meat is so good. All different cuts of pork and beef. Grab as much as you want. It's a two hour limit, about $20 all you can eat. 
Mm. Oh, that steak is a juicy. The dipping sauce is great. They have this garlic dipping sauce. I don't see this at many places. Just loaded with garlic. Mm. How's your first Korean barbecue experience? Mm. I'm obsessed with that garlic dipping sauce. Luckily, I got a bunch more. Also, salt and pepper, sesame, and then a little sesame oil. Clashing. The meat is fresh, it's tender, it's juicy. Oh, I just bit into a giant piece of fat. The guy is making me so happy right now. A little burnt piece of fat, especially a piece of marinated garbi. Did that in some sesame and garlic. Double whammy, this baby. <laughs> Round two is all about the pork. Some fatty pork rib. It looks like a pork chop. And then some beef brisket. Mm. Gonna be going back for way more brisket. Some people want the brisket to be really lean. It wants a good amount of fat content. And it actually becomes super crispy. Mm. Oh my god. That pork steak might be better than the beef I had. Oh, that is so good. Mm. And this is a finger rib. It is just loaded with fat. <laughs> wow. My first round was all about the beef. I keep forgetting though, Korean barbecues, the way they do their pork, it's just masterful. I can 100% conclude the pork is better than the beef here. Wow. Every piece is just exuding so much juice. None of it's tough, none of it dry. I'd like to highlight this meal. I'm gonna go back for more of that. Soybean paste stew is a brewing. Third round of barbecue on the cooker, all brisket. At least for me, this is how you have a good time in South Korea. Mm. Mm. Oh, stew is delicious. And also, this is a big bowl of stew for two extra dollars. And got some cold noodles coming. Can't have a traditional, authentic Korean barbecue experience without some cold noodles. Oh, custom it up. Oh my God, look at this giant bowl. Five bucks. I like my cold noodles extra mustardy and extra sour. Just like that. Last part of the meal, instant noodles. You can also throw some gnocchi mushrooms in there, some scallions. We're just eating a plane. Grilled one last round of brisket. They're, they're out of brisket. We ate all their brisket. They didn't refill it, so all the brisket there is left. Mm. Chase it with some crispy brisket. And this first all you can eat Korean barbecue experience is complete. Ah, what an awesomely delicious place. Yeah, meat is fantastic. Dipping sauce, that garlic one, amazing. So much is included. Again, all you can eat, 24,900, so maybe about $21. Not a bad deal. Dessert time. Well, this dessert just looks like a snow globe. Inside, there's little edible flowers. I think champagne foam, panna cotta, and a candied shell. And you eat it with cheese snow on the outside. I mean, it's pretty much exactly like an edible snow globe. That's beautiful. Beautiful, it's fun to eat. Looks pretty good. Second dessert. Kiwi blueberries, grape, panna cotta, chocolate brownie on bottom, with yogurt, ice cream, all on top of a creme brulee. You know, the prettiest little container. Oh, that's fantastic. My creme brulee is so good, first of all. Mm. Pure, silky, velvety texture, right beneath that sweet, crunchy shell. I think taste-wise, this one is better. That's no gold, though. That is way too pretty. Only about the snow globe, you gotta be careful. Once you break it, I think it's sharp. You can easily cut your mouth open. Oh, 
Hi, it's dinner time. I'm at Hyundai right now. This is my favorite food area in all of Seoul. Tons of cheap eats around here. It's also the area in Seoul I'm most familiar with. Look, a googly eye cookie. Mmm, a yummy googly eye cookie. Also, Happy New Year's, by the way. Happy Year to Tiger 2022. And because of that, we made four Chinese New Year collectibles. They are live right now. So all you gotta do is click the link down below and claim it for yourself. Also, a lot of the collectibles are limited time only. So be sure to go to Legacy and get them now before they're gone. Anyway, this rewards program is something new I'm trying out. Hopefully you guys like it. Mm. All right, let's go find some food. This is a flaming, like literal flaming bowl of pho? What's that place over there? Pho Gala. I don't think they're open yet. I really want that burning bowl or whatever that is. Oh, I love this barbecue place. Barbecue number two today. Well, they're on break for another uh, 40 minutes, so find something else first. No break time. Yay. I really haven't had a bowl of dana noodles in such a long time. The craving is strong. Oh, that smells good. Never had done noodles with a salad before, but it smells good. Pickle veggies, delicious. Mm. And this is that. Look at that giant sized dumpling. Look how big this is. This is a fried dumpling cooked on a cast iron. Might be the biggest chive dumpling I've ever been into. But this is good. Crispy skim. Tons of chives, tons of meat. Look at that juicy dumpling, too. Oh, that's nice. Deliciously spicy and yummy. Just like I remember that black vinegar. Dump some of that on there. Cover this thing with some chili oil as well. Oh, that's so nice. Mm. All the food items actually work together so well. This is yummy and spicy. This is super meaty and chivey with a nice crunchy wrapper. Noodle itch scratched, dumpling itch scratched. Now, I think break time is almost over. Let's go back for some barbecue. If you ever want something really simple, really delicious, and really affordable, this is where you go. So this is the typical set menu. The thin spicy pork belly with the soup. So this is about $30 for two people. Or you can just get the pork belly. This thing, this thing's delicious. It's another uh, fellow food vlogger right back there. One reason I love this place, charcoal grill. Just like the all-you-can-eat buffet earlier, charcoal just tastes better. And the pork belly either comes in soy sauce, sauce, or spicy sauce. Highly recommend the spicy sauce. Of course, comes with unlimited banchan. If you run out of anything, there's the bar, just go fill it up. My stew is here as well, look at this. How hearty does this look? Mm. Ah, so good. Full of kimchi and little bits of pork. Actually, I shouldn't say a little bit. So much meat in here. Mm. The meat in here, the chunks of meat are so fatty and tender. I mean, you get the nice crunch from the kimchi, and you get a chunk of meat, that thing just dissolves on your tongue. Mm. It was like taking a bite of that delicious smoke. Best way to eat this, gorilla leaf, meat goes in, more meat goes in, a little sauce, bundle it up. Just ridiculous. I'm gonna give you a gooey egg, look at this, to go with your meat and stew. That's just the best part right there. Usually in Hyundai, I like to focus on all you can eat barbecue places. Definitely make an exception for this. Mm. This is the perfect conclusion. Start the day with barbecue, end the day with barbecue. When you're in South Korea, that's pretty much how a great day goes by. Oh, that peach milk is good. That was a fun first food day. I'm gonna try to do as many as I can while I'm still here, but as always, thank you all so much for watching. Till we eat again.
See you later.